Welcome everybody, my name is Nad Karim. Uh, I am uh, one of the co-founders of Saku Company. I live in Silicon Valley in California. Our company's in San Jose. And um, yeah, I've been living here for over 20 years and I'm, um, uh, this is my eighth startup and hopefully my last startup here in Silicon Valley. So just want to talk to you a little bit about the battery world and uh, the what we're up to and, and talk about some of the markets uh, the, and how things are changing here. What we're doing is, as the sort of title here suggests, we're powering renewable, the energy revolution here with solid state batteries, which are the holy grail of batteries. And we have a additive manufacturing, what's commonly known as 3D printing approach to manufacture these batteries. And what you can see here in the background are in fact our machines. Uh, 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 these are renderings of our machines which are actually being manufactured as we speak. So I'll continue on. Uh, a, a, a statement from Evan Heretsky. Uh, I'm sure most people have never heard of Evan Heretsky, but he's the guy who built Tesla's first gigafactories. And he is actually one of the advisors to Saku and uh, a very, very useful and very nice guy, actually. So anyway, just the statement he made, Saku solid state battery designed it and made in such a novel way that it's poised to have a major impact on global transportation to reverse climate change. So a great asset to the company. Moving along. So uh, some of this information is going to be pretty obvious, but I thought I'd just present a little bit of data on the state of the world as far as electrification goes. So uh, uh, electric vehicles are, are growing in quantity very quickly across the world, led by China and Europe. Uh, 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 the US, you know, it seems to me living in California, there's cars, electric cars everywhere, but the, the larger part of the US uh, uptake is a bit slower. So definitely Europe and China are leading the world here. 4.4 million vehicles uh, apparently uh, um, uh, shipped last year. And then uh, in concert with that, battery demand is increasing very quickly, as everyone could uh, guess. Over 2,000 gigawatt hours will be needed by the end of the decade. And most of that is going to be passenger electric vehicles. So um, that's also probably not a big surprise. Commercial vehicles next, consumer electronics, and stationary storage is also very big. Stationary being for storing energy for home energy storage or utilities. Now, th this represents some interesting data. This shows who's going to be manufacturing the, the, the batteries in question. And if you look at the 2020 chart on the left, the vast majority is being built by China right now. Uh, uh, perhaps that's not a surprise to most people. That's where most of the demand is. But by 2030, China will still be dominant, but Europe is going to grow immensely. Uh, with companies like ACC and North Vault and various other companies planning to build out some large factories across Europe. So a lot of focus in Europe. And uh, last chart I'm going to show is that uh, uh, by 2025, 75% of all the batteries are going to be going into Chinese uh, vehicles, electric vehicles, be they passenger vehicles or buses and such. Uh, uh, definitely China is pushing this very, very heavily. Uh, which is, again, an interesting statistic. So, uh, so what does this all mean? Well, th uh, there's three major areas, the way I see it, where batteries are going to be uh, particularly impactful. The first one is the grid, the grid and, and energy storage. Uh, it's all, for several years now, I think I went to a conference back in 2018 at Stanford, an energy conference led by the Department of Energy. And uh, at that time already, it's more profitable to build a renewable energy power station than it is to build a carbon-based power station. And that's only improved because of reductions in cost of, of mostly batteries and, and solar panels, among other things. So, so that's um, an interesting trend and, and a good trend for the planet. Uh, <clears throat> continuing on, so electric vehicles, that's one of the obviously the biggest reasons we're here, uh, some interesting facts about electric vehicles. And I'll show you some numbers on the next slide. They're five times cheaper for in the cost of transportation, meaning the fuel, 